So the robot said something about being charged. And now it's on its way back to the charger to charge itself, what? I believe. Yo, we all about to be replaced by AI. Oh my god. Then it's gonna, um... What's up y'all? So we received a robotic vacuum to review. What? And uh, normally I wouldn't accept items like this, but... I won it. This was her idea to accept this. Uh, why, why was that? Because the men in this house. The men in But right now it, it's me, my son, and my nephew living in this house and she's the only lady in the house at the time. And it might be folks out there that um, want to be able to keep their floor clean without having to sweep it every 30 minutes uh, or every hour like we kind of have to do in here because of how our uh, place is set up here. We always have to clean the floor. So the robotic vacuum that we received is a, and I hope I'm saying this right, uh, Verifa. Verifa? L11. It's advertised to hold up to 10 weeks worth of dirt. It says it has LiDAR technology, which... Who? LiDAR. Which means that it can map your house right and you can set up cleaning areas and then you can also set up like no-go areas areas where you don't want the robot to go and clean it has a suction of 2700 pa it says that it's good for cleaning pet hair carpet hard floor and tiles it has a 5000 milliampere battery which is supposed to give you 210 minutes of continuous cleaning and uh, i think there's a way that you can set this vacuum up to when the battery is low it returns to the to the base <laughs> on its charge own itself. yeah to charge itself i think and this vacuum also is uh comparable to um alexa on your iphone or a uh, google assistant on your android i believe so we can talk to it i think so i think we can talk to it and say hey turn on clean the house Get out of here. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna unbox this. We're gonna go through all the features and the settings. And then we're gonna put it to the test. We're gonna uh, try to clean our hardwood. We have hardwood floors, but we're also gonna take it to areas of the house where we have carpet to see just how well does it clean and how robotic is it? Like, is it really returning back to charge itself? Can, you, can it really map your place and have uh, no-go zones and things like that? So. Okay, so this is everything that came in the box. Came with our, our user's manual here. Uh, not sure what this is, uh, but it has like little brushes on the side here. Uh, it came with, I think that's a filter. I believe that's an additional filter. Uh, our vacuum itself, and I think that's a bag. A uh, bag for the dirt here. And our, I believe this is our base, our battery charger. Charging station. I believe that's what that is, yeah, charging station there. Get a closer look at this vacuum here. Is it heavy? Yeah. It is kind of heavy. <laughs> oh, that's what that was. That's an extra, I guess that's uh, something that helps catch the dirt there. So this vacuum has a 13 inch diameter here. Um, looks like we have a power switch and uh, not sure what that home button means yet, but I'm assuming that means return back to your charging station. And we do have a remove before use, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and remove that now. Turn it upside down here. Look like uh, we have some wheels that kind of Looks like it separates the vacuum from your floor here. They got some suspension. Yeah, it's a real got some suspension on it, right? Uh, we're used to doing bike reviews in cases. <laughs> now we have another wheel up here, and this is our brush to get the dust up here. Looks pretty standard. I am curious on what this does here. Like, how did that help um, regarding the cleaning? I think it gets the little corners. The little corners. Because something, something that's circular can't get a corner. All right. So, all right, we're gonna have to figure out what all this stuff is. It's a vacuum. But we have another extra one of this here. Okay. And I'm assuming this is where the vacuum returns to get charged here. Let's remove all these uh, tags here. So we're not gonna take a deeper look at this uh, vacuum. First of all, we do have two buttons here. We have our power button, and uh, you press and hold the power button for three seconds to turn the vacuum on. Now, if you want to do auto cleaning, after you turn it on, you just click it again and it'll go into auto cleaning mode. Here we have our recharge button. So I guess if you click this, it'll go back to the uh, base and uh, recharge. Maybe uh, dump the dust out of this vacuum and put it 
at the recharge station. Now, if these light indicators are white, that means it's at normal power. If it's orange, that means it has low power. If it's red, that means there's an error. When it's pulsing white, orange, that means that it's charging. Up here, we have our laser distance sensor. I believe that's what the vacuum used to kind of lay out your room to uh, know where it can clean and where it can't clean. Looks like we have two sensors here. That's what these are. And on the other side, we have our charge pins. So I guess use these two to connect to the base to charge your vacuum here. Now here where the pins are, we do have a drawer here. So you uh, click this down and you can take this drawer out here. Now, uh, now this drawer does have a filter that you can easily remove here. So if you open the door here, you can easily take this filter out here. So apparently you can rinse this filter off with water if you want to, but you have to make sure that it's completely dry before you put the filter back in there. And you also have a removable cleaning brush here. Clean the drawer as well as the filter, I guess. Um, but that's what this is here. And this is where your vacuum distributes the dust from the vacuum to the base. On this side, you can pull this down and try to clean some of this in here if there's too much dust in there. So we're now gonna put this back. Okay, let's now take a closer look at the base here or the charging station. Uh, first of all, at the top here is where we have our bag. So I guess that's where the vacuum distributes the dust in here and then all the dust is stored in the bag here. And they did give us a replacement bag. And this is the dirt port. So that's where all of the dust is distributed to in here. And then back here we have an air outlet. So notice we have a light indicator here. So if this light is white, then that means that uh, this charging station is connected to the power cord, but the vacuum is not connected to the charging station. That's what solid white means. If this is off, then it's in like a standby mode. Flashing white means starting or finished work. Solid red means that either the bag is missing or the top is open. You know, we have the top open. So that's what solid red means. And if it flashes red, then that means there's an error. So connect these pins here to these pins here and I think when that happens we're going to hear some loud noises because it's automatically going to take whatever dust is in here and push it through this bag here. So let's uh, close the top. That should take my light indicator to white there. So let's uh, connect the pins and the vacuum is off so let's connect the pins and uh, see what happens here. Okay. So the vacuum said that it's charging here and uh, we have these flashing white lights here. Looks like we have the solid white when it's fully charged. So I've downloaded the Varefa Life app so we're going to open that up here. Looks like the first thing it wants us to do is add a robot which is our vacuum. So we're going to click that. Looks like you're going to have turn Bluetooth on so I'll do that. And uh, we have the L11 Pro so I'm going to click that. I was then prompted to put my Wi-Fi password in then that brought me to this screen so I'm going to click next step here. Click uh, confirm the reset. So it's going to want us to click this button below then it's going to want us to connect to this Wi-Fi which is going to be a uh, Varefa and then it's going to have some other information there but that's our Wi-Fi here and then return to this app after successful connection. Okay so let's click this button. So we obviously had to turn the a vacuum or robot on first and now we can find the Varefa Wi-Fi here. So we're going to click on that. Wi-Fi wi connecting. Please wait. Okay, it said Wi-Fi connecting. Please wait. And then it looks like we have a percentage up here. I am then taken to this screen which is giving me some uh, installation instructions here. So I'm going to click got it. That's my robot here. I guess I can give it a name if I wanted to. I'm going to just click enter robot. Then I'm taken to this screen. Click got it on there. It's giving me some more tips here. You have a do not disturb mode. Room management. Alright, we're going to click got it on there. Looks like we did have to do a firmware upgrade. So we're going to click OK on this. Okay, so after that we're taken to this screen. First going to go through what's at the bottom of the screen. Looks like we have the options of auto cleaning, uh, room cleaning, I guess that's after we mapped the place and we haven't mapped anything yet so we don't have a map that we don't have an existing map at this point and zone and so uh, we're going to start out with auto and looks like we also have some other options down here you can click here 
to say uh, whether you want a standard strong or super suction keep that at standard in either of these modes you click the play button to start your vacuum you click this button to go back to recharge now if we go to the top here click the three dots here we have more features if i want information about this vacuum i click here you can delete any current map you have see we have room management Okay, we have to build a map before we do that one. Schedule, so you look like you can add a schedule for cleaning. A voice and volume. Okay, so you can set what language and uh, the volume of the robot there. We have smart settings. Let's see what that is. After entering the carpet, the robot will intelligently adjust the vacuum power, automatically restore the normal suction after leaving the carpet. Remote control mode. Okay, so that means you can actually use your cell phone here to add the remote control to manually have the robot go where you point it here. Consumables and maintenance. Um, I guess this is to help you figure out when you need to replace these things. User's manual, in case you wanna have a look at the user's manual here. So in order to create a map, I think we have to start by doing an auto cleaning here. So we're gonna hit this play button but before we do that we have to close all the doors that we don't want the robot to enter and we have to move all the large objects here we're not going to put some things on the floor that we always kind of sweeping up around the house here i put some hair from my lady's brush on the floor here so we're now going to click play here start auto oh shoot looks like it's trying to figure things out here okay Okay, going around the couch here. All right. Oh, it picked that up with no problems. Okay. Uh, so far, it is knocking some of it out of the way, though, instead of uh, sucking it up. But uh, maybe it'll go back and get it later. So as it's cleaning, this is what I'm seeing on my phone here. Looks like it's showing you how it's mapping out your house. Now, I am curious to know what pieces are too big and, um... Cause it is pushing away some while it's sucking up the others. All right, it, it left the living room here, but uh, we still have a lot of I, I, items on the floor. So I guess it's still mapping out things. It's not necessarily cleaning things, it's just mapping things out. So it adjusts the suction temporarily, but now it went back to normal, but it adjusts the suction because we do have some carpet here. So as soon as it hit a little bit of carpet, the suction adjusted a little bit. All right, it's now going in our bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I made it over. Okay. So I guess now it's going to include the bathroom uh, in the map here. So it did end up going in my dining room where it is now. And it's actually under the table. Uh, <laughs> trying to see where it can fit and where it can't fit. And I totally understand why they say you should fully charge the vacuum before using it for the first time because when it maps out your house, it does take a while. Like um, now it's just discovering my kitchen here so the robot said something about being charged and now it's on its way back to the charger to charge itself i believe so this is going to be interesting <laughs> didn't do it on purpose okay so it gets to the charger that is amazing and then it rotates to match up the pins i would think yo we all about to be replaced by ai Then it's gonna, um, anything that it's picked up is gonna put in this recycle bin here, in the bag. So after the first auto cleaning, I come back to the app and it looks more like this. So it looks like it mapped out and it gave a color to different rooms here. Now if we go to cleaning records, it'll show us our last cleaning here. We're gonna go to room. I think I can then select a room. Let's see if I click four. Okay, so I wanted to basically clean this area that's in front of my couch. So we'll go start with standard, standard suction. So we're gonna test out the vacuum on the wood floor here, and then we're gonna test out the vacuum on carpet. I'm gonna click. So who's play. talking? The robot's talking. Okay, look like it started here. All right. Robot's probably like, hey man, what the hell happened? Now we do have some boxes in the corner that were not there when it mapped our place. So I'm wondering if that's going to um, confuse the robot here. I guess we'll see. So it should cut off here because I think this is where this room ends, which is right here. Looks like that's what it did. So 
So yeah, it's making sure that it calibrated the room correctly by going around the edges. Then hopefully it's going to go in the middle of the room and clean all of this mess up here. <laughs> Interesting so far? Yeah. <laughs> okay, look like we figured out the pattern. It's basically going to make one line here, then it turns and it makes another line next to that one. Who's all of that other stuff over there? Over there. That, um... The fan, the blades. Those little blades is just moving. It. Moving stuff, okay. So how about we try, because it looks like the blades that are on the front of the vacuum here is knocking some of the larger objects back over here. I don't know if y'all can see that, yeah. So I wonder if I take the blades off, will it just, y'all see how it's knocking large objects away? So what I'm gonna now try is take the blade off. So I just quickly click the power button to pause the job, and now I'm gonna take this blade off here. Let's continue on. And I wonder if it's gonna have to recalibrate the whole room before it continues. Right, so now it's not fly, thin and stuff flying anymore, right? Right. Yeah. Done for the corners and then take it off whenever it... You're not using corners? Probably. That's what I would think. But now it looks like it's heating everything up. Yeah, it's heating up a lot better now, isn't it? Yeah. And then turn around and then uh, go parallel to the line that it just came through. So we're going through the same pattern, which is one line at a time. Dang! Impressive! Impressive! What are you thinking? I think it's way better than yeah. I think that was the key, taking the, the taking blades the blades off. off. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but it looks like uh, those tunnels that are sucked up is really having a time in the vacuum here. All right, let's pause it. So this is what we're making all that noise. And that goes to show you, we can't even have stuff like that on the floor because yeah. it won't get picked up. Right. So stuff like this don't look like. I guess it did get picked up. It was just hanging off the brush here. <laughs> It looked like when it when we had that blade on, it pushed a lot of things over to the left here. Um, so it's going to have to redo that. But after we took the blade off, I don't know if y'all can see the difference. This is with the blade on. This is when we took the blade off. So start. Let let it um. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it it dumps it dumps the drawer into the bag itself. So now the goal is to try to figure out if we can get these kernels up. To the, towards the wall here. First, going to look at zone here. Let's click the zone button. Uh, okay, click OK. And see, now we can set a zone. We can use this box to figure to um, let this robot know where we want it to clean. And you can do up to five areas. Yeah. I'm going to make it smaller. Oh, what? Oh, are? oh no! Hit uh, hit the pause button. Pause. 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 Recharge. <laughs> Skinny. All right. Wide. I think that's good. Right there. Now let's click on play now that we're in zone and let's see if it'll get the kernel that it uh, brushed off earlier. So hit play? Yes. Play. Start uh -oh. zone. You nervous? <laughs> you wanted to perform well? <laughs> oh, it's going around the zone box that we created. So when you do zone and you create a box, the first thing it does is mimic the box that you created. And then I think it's gonna vacuum within the box that you created when you do zone. You excited? Yeah. This fun? <laughs> it's gonna go in the same pattern now that it figured out the zone box that we created. And yeah, it looks like it's getting everything up here. Yeah. I told you we should have made the zone block uh, closer to the recharge. Look here. See? But we can always create another zone box. You can create how many at what time? Five. Five different zone boxes. Not bad. Look at that. Not bad at all. Yes. Yes. Very good. Very good. Can I drive it? Yeah, we're going to try that next. We're going to try remote control. Uh, we're going to use remote control to get that stuff over there. It did a good job, y'all. Um, all of those tunnels that it flew over are gone now and it's still going you like zone better too yeah i like zone better yeah me too i like zone a lot better because yeah. you can i think you can kind of control it so we're going to create another zone to come next to our feet here uh, we got to pick up our feet oh yeah so it's going to make the zone box first and then it's going to hopefully clean by our feet here it's like it's getting by our feet here and uh, it's picking up everything pretty well so 
really impressed so far. So what we're now gonna try is to try to get these crumbs up here that were not in the room that we suggested, nor was it in the zone. So what we're gonna use to get this up, just to test it out, is the remote control. So to go to remote control, we're gonna click on the three dots up here. I don't wanna do it. Okay, sorry. <laughs> and then we're gonna go down to, um, we're gonna click on remote control mode there. Click okay. And then I think we click anywhere here. So let's click forward. Start. Yeah, look like that started. So you're controlling all of this with the remote now. So now you can make a turn. <laughs> Is it easy to use? No. <laughs> but you're doing a job. So now she's just using uh, the directions on the phone here to dictate where this thing cleans. So yeah, look like you have a lot of options with this. Um, okay. All right. Try to get this area right here. So the power of the blade, it, it can take stuff like this from the corners and push it to the middle of the room. And then you should be able to get it with the vacuum. That's the value of having the blades on there, I think. You still at it with the remote control here. <laughs> you know you like it. Okay. A little bit, yeah, okay, that's what I thought. She's still at it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> so it was your idea to get this uh, Varefa. Thanks Varefa. What are you thinking about it so far? I like it so far. You like it? I'm excited to, to continually use it. And learn and more I'm, about it? Yeah, I'm curious about the life of the, of the vacuum. Alright, so I think it did a pretty good job of uh, sucking up everything here. So let's now try it out on carpet. So we're now on carpet and I'm going to change my suction to um, super since I'm going to be on carpet now. I'm going to use the remote control here and I'll put some popcorn and some other items down here just to test out the suction on carpet here. Let's uh, see how it goes here. Okay, I want it to go up a little bit. Alright. Let's turn it around some more. Alright. Have to go a little slower. Alright, not bad. Getting it up off carpet with no problem here. I guess that means you have to keep it constantly moving in remote control mode maybe. Okay. Alright, what do y'all think of the suction on a uh, carpet here? Alright, looks like it's a kernel there that's uh, a little hard to get up. Ah, oh, got it. They got it. Okay. Not bad. Alright. So that's uh, this robot vacuum on a uh, carpet. So Barefa L11 Pro, uh, it does pretty much everything we would need a vacuum to do. Um, I really like the option that you have. I like the fact that you can map out your room and have it clean a specific room. But what I like even better than that is the zone option where you can just uh, put a box on a zone to highlight a zone and then a robot will clean that zone. I love the fact that it can avoid obstacles uh, while it's cleaning your place. I like the fact that it can clean hardwood as well as carpet. I do wish, however, that the port that's used to distribute items from this vacuum to your uh, base was a little bigger because sometimes things get stuck here if it sucked up something that's a little bit too big so I wish this part was just a little bit bigger so yeah on a scale from 1 to 10 I will give this a 9 um, and I don't have a whole lot of experience with these but it does everything we would like for it to do so let us know what you would give this robotic vacuum on a scale from 1 to 10 any other electric items you want me to review also comment below thank you all for watching peace